Hello again everyone, as usual, I'm Buff Bud, and today we're back with another episode of Terraria. Now, last episode, we ended up uh, taking on uh, Solar Eclipse, as well as uh, the Twins and Skeletron Prime. Unfortunately, we did lose against the, uh, the Twins again, so we are going to have to try them once more. Um, but first, because it is day, and we don't exactly have a decent way to skip time... Um, I figured let's go fishing a bit. So, let's see. We need to do a quest for, uh, this guy here. Caught in caverns. I think it's just caverns of anything. Which I do actually have, as a matter of fact. So, let us get down to the caverns. By the way, I got this little, uh, guy right here by, um... Uh, just simply by fishing. So, that's kind of cool. Okay, so let's get down here. We have a little, uh, cavern fishing hole here. Come on. There we go. And... I was able to get a decent amount of, uh, fish here, um, off camera. I'll show you what else I did off camera as well, but first... Oh, wait, look at that. Here, I want to get a couple of these guys first. Maybe, like, three extra. Oh, you dick. Yeah, it's actually a really good way to cheat the system. If you, um, uh, put quest fish in a chest, uh, then you can keep on catching quest fish, and that way, uh, if he asks for them again, you could just be like, oh, hey, I have some in this chest right here. Alrighty, just a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, I've actually done a lot of fishing off camera to try and get, uh, multiple different quests done and such. I didn't mean to pull it there, but whatever. Uh, there we go. Two, that's good. Thank you. As you can see, I got a ton of extra Fishotrons, uh, quest fish. So, that's really nice. Okay. Nice. Okay, we just need one more then. Oh no! I didn't mean to press that. Dang it. I didn't mean to do that either. Okay. Uh, okay, he's stuck there. That's good. Uh, 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 um, maybe? No, he's free. Of course he is. You dick. No. Don't eat my butt. I don't like bad butt eating. Okay. Stop it. Ow. Eh. Eh. Come on. I'm trying to fish while jumping around a freaking bat. This is not... Okay, there we go. There we go. Actually, you know what? Didn't need to do that. So let's just do this. Okay. So let's quickly turn in this quest. Hopefully we get something good. Unfortunately, the only two items I've gotten were uh, an anchor and a ship and a bottle from him. Uh, we got apprentice bait. Oh, and uh, fishing potions, apparently. Okay, that's good. Unfortunately, we are actually trying to get three different items from that guy. And it's going to be very annoying to get. So, as you can see, actually, as you might be able to see for that matter, I have done a lot of uh, uh, organizing off camera. Let's do that. Uh, let's put that there. I have organized everything into uh, various different chests. Unfortunately, I have not, like, color-coded them. So, like, this water chest would be, like, where the fishing items should be, but eh, whatever. So over here, I got various different tools and such. Uh, right here, I got different vanity items and armor and such. Right here, I got accessories that you can um, uh, use or, you know, craft into different stuff. Over here, I got the different electronic parts item things. Uh, ores 1 and ores 2 because there's just that many. Uh, here are different uh, enemy drops. Uh, over here is where I keep uh, most of my statues. Then right below it is where I keep more statues. Uh, let's see, then I have banners here and banners here. I got different die items over here. Fishing items right here. Uh, speaking of which... Oh, actually, the potion should not go there. Uh, right here I got different blocks and such. Right over here I got a chest full of all of our different chests. 
Uh, all of our potions are now down here. Uh, right here is where we have all of our plants and such to make the potions. Uh, this is actually used to uh, harvest the plants. I'll explain that later. Uh, this, actually, I don't have any use for yet. But over here is where I have my miscellaneous ones. I have boss fighting items over here, including all the potions I gathered uh, off camera. Uh, plus the different arrows. Over here I got miscellaneous items. So, yeah. Um, I got more miscellaneous items here. In fact, actually, we can do this now. I've been, uh, collecting these items for the past, like, ever since we got to hard mode. Because they're just that difficult to get. Uh, so yeah. Um, another thing, actually, I should mention real quick. I am not going to upgrade the, the moon shell here any more than it is. Because I found out off camera that you can actually make it into something even better. So I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, in order to make that better, we actually need to combine this moonstone with a thing called a sunstone. Uh, and then we'll be able to combine, I think it's called a celestial stone? Uh, with the, the moon shell here. And then it'll be even better. So I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, I got this from a vampire during a solar eclipse. Um, let's see. And then over here, I got various items of sentimental value. Such as our first sword, which automatically started off as legendary. Our first pickaxe. And then our zombie's arm that started off as legendary. Um, then the flamerang and the molten fury that we used to beat the wall of flesh. And then the items that we got from the wall of flesh. So, yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. So. Off camera, I've been trying to collect all these items here. Uh, let's see. The cobalt shield you get from... Uh, uh, from a chest in the dungeon. The obsidian skull you can actually just craft. Uh, armor polish you get from, uh, some enemy. I don't remember which one. Uh, vitamins you get from corruptors over in the corruption. Um, I don't remember what you get these from. Uh, the bezoars you get from, uh, those big slimes that you find in the caverns. Uh, trifold map you get from the, uh, the, the big, uh, the giant bats you find in the caverns. Fast clock. Uh, you get those from wraiths, I believe. Um, uh, megaphone. I don't remember what that's from. Uh, I don't remember what that's from. And darkness. I think you get that from, uh, the slimes in the corruption. Uh, but with all these items combined, uh, where is it? Uh, over here. So first, we can start off by crafting an obsidian skull that grants us immunity to knockback and fire blocks. Check. And then we can make armor bracing, which gives us immunity to weakness and broken armor. Check. And we can make a medicated bandage, which grants us immunity to poison and bleeding. Check. Then we can make a The Plan, which grants us immunity to slowness and confusion. Check. And a Counter Curse Mantra, which grants us immunity to silence and curse. With all this combined, we can now make a Charm of that name, which grants immunity to all of these various different things here. And now, we can get that Shield. Which grants us immunity to knockback, fire, and everything that this thing does. <sighs> now, because we have that, we can, gra uh, we can get immunity to almost anything. Uh, what we should replace it with, though, on the other hand, is a different question. Um... I think we should replace it with this, honestly. Because we don't really need the ability to walk on water. I'll upgrade that uh, later on at some point with, um, with warding. But now... Ooh, baby. We are immune to practically everything at this point. Uh, I think this can be upgraded further into something else. Uh, just in case I'll save it in here. So we are good there. Um, 
trying to think of anything else that we can do now. I don't think there really is. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I think we're all good for now. So I think at this point I am going to uh, stop the video and uh, come back when it is night time and when we're ready to actually fight the, uh, the twins. First things first, I'm actually going to move this up top into our arena. Because this is actually very helpful. It's actually good for um, uh, sharpening your tools. There we go. And making them even uh, better. So, yeah. Can I, I... Oh, frick. I didn't mean to turn him off. Dang it. Uh, let's quickly turn him back on. Okay, put him back. Thank you. Okay, um, so yeah, I will get all of my potions and such ready, and hopefully we can do it this time, so I'll see you guys then. Alrighty, so we are, uh, about half an hour in-game away from the big battle. Now, uh, real quick, I did actually make a couple modifications to our little arena here. I put the, uh, the life lan- uh, the, uh, heart lanterns down below the thing, so I don't end up getting stuck on them as I'm trying to move between the, the different layers. Um, and I also put some sunflowers here, because they gra- uh... Lucky me, I'm not even gonna have to use my mechanical eye! Okay, um, but I put these here, that way I won't even have to worry about, um, uh, extra monsters, and I get extra movement speed. Dude, how lucky is that? That the twins are gonna spawn on their own. There we go. So, my plan for this is to use uh, all the potions here just by pressing the, the buff button on my keyboard. Um, I'm going to get some of the uh, the clouds out, and the yellets and the repeater are going to be my two main weapons here. Because, unfortunately, I cannot get close enough to actually fight with the uh, the sword. Uh, will, would that help at all? I don't think that would really help much at all, honestly. Yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with the repeater. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, right, and I need to uh, uh, use this thing as well here. So I think he'll either spawn at either 8 or 9. Okay, so it must be 9 then. How long does this thing last? 10 minutes, okay. But yeah, check this out. No knockback whatsoever. That was one of our biggest problems during the battle last time. We just kept on getting knocked back, and we could not deal with it at all. But yeah, now we should be uh, fully set to go. We got the werewolf, which will help us uh, with everything. We got the heart lamp, the fire, and the uh, sunflowers. We got all these buffs. Uh, let's see. Honestly, I think we better win this. If we don't win this, I will be so mad. Oh my god. Okay, so... Just a little bit longer here. Let's get the uh, the rod ready. Oh my god. Dude, if this battle is anything like the uh, the battle from... There we go. Uh, the battle from um, Skeletron Prime, then I will be so mad. Okay, so I'm just going to start by shooting him with this. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I don't know how much the... Uh, the rain clouds actually will help at all simply because I mean I'm, I have to constantly be moving in, uh, in order for this to actually do any good at all okay there we go it's so nice not having knockback oh my god I need to stop running into the, the fire. Oh, frick, I totally forgot to buff and everything. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, now we should be doing way better. Seems how I frickin' forgot to even use the buff. God dang it, man. How could I forget to use the buff? It's literally the most important part of this whole battle. On, you're almost changed. Do the change the roof, please. Wait, you're you're way under half health. Oh come 
Come on, bro. He's trying to eat me. He's almost dead. You dick! There we go. Okay. Now we gotta take on this guy. Come on. Okay. Now if I'm not mistaken, I think this guy's second stage is just a, a much bigger, faster laser, essentially. Okay. Come on. Come on, just a little more. We can do this, we can do this. Yes! Oh my god, it took so long! <laughs> oh my god, that is ridiculous. Okay, well, we're done here. Okay, so as you saw there, uh, uh, when we beat the guy, it said that uh, the... Oh, hello. Lot of uh, arrows. Sweet. I'll take them. Uh, it said the jungle grows restless. So, yeah, now the next big thing is over in the jungle. Unfortunately, that means I am going to have to create a uh, an arena over in the jungle when the time comes. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. Okay, so let's stash all these in here now. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, I suppose let's just organize everything here. And stash, there we go. And that can go in there. Then this can go in here. There we go. Okay, so now that we have defeated all of them, solar eclipses will now be uh, more intense. Um, although, to make them even better, we should probably go over to the jungle and do the thing. Oh my god. Over there. Holy crud. Wow. There's a live casualty um, arrow fire. <laughs> okay. Anyway... So let's go over into the jungle. Actually, before we go over there, let me uh, let me see if we can find the thing. Whoa, what the frick was that? That was weird. Okay, so is it possible to see it on here? Probably not yet. Uh, I'm not seeing it. No. Okay. Alrighty. So. The next big thing, like I said, is over in the jungle. So we're going to have to take care of that sooner or later. Um, now that we've defeated the twins, uh, I think some of the merchants are going to have different... Or some of the NPCs, rather, are going to have different items. Uh, the, uh, Like I said, the uh, solar eclipses are going to be more intense. They're going to have better enemies. I think we can actually um, uh, get Mothra to spawn now and get the... Uh, uh, the rare item from him. I think we need three of. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? I'm not actually sure what happens after that. Uh, but this next boss... Oh, it's gonna be pretty intense. So, yeah. Okay. In fact, now that I think of it... One, two, three... We are three bosses away from the, uh, the final boss. Or three storyline bosses, that is. There are, uh, there is one more optional boss. Uh, but, I mean, that boss isn't in the, the storyline. We will eventually take him on, but, I mean, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I guess that's it then, isn't it? Interesting, okay. Thank you. Man. We are actually making relatively quick work of this game, aren't we? Huh. Okay. Alrighty, so slowly but surely... I don't know why I'm not holding a light source. I'm an idiot. Uh, slowly but surely, we're making our way over here. There we go. So first, we gotta set our spawn. 
Man, I'm so used to walking on water, and now it's just so weird uh, falling into it. Oh no, now I'm not going to be able to uh, stand on the water when I fish. That sucks. Oh well. So anyway, in order to spawn this boss, uh, we need to find something in here. Um, it, it's going to be pretty obvious uh, if we find it, but the thing is, we have not explored too much of this... Um, uh, too much of this place, so I don't know if we'll actually be able to find it. At least not too easily, anyway. It could literally be anywhere in the jungle. And it does actually emit light. Oh! I forgot about that! I totally forgot about that! In the jungle, now, um... Now, life fruits are going to start spawning. Life fruits are very helpful. I think it'll say that up at the treasure line there, won't it? Hey, a hundred giant tortoises, huh? Nice. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Can I get up and over there? I can't see anything though. Okay, that works. Uh, I'm not seeing it over here. No, okay. But yeah, the, the life fruit. I totally forgot about that. That's gonna be another thing we have to try and find. There we go. Okay. Yikes. Run away, run away, run away! Okay. There we go. And as, uh, as you guys might have seen on the map, I did also excavate all around the uh, the temple here. Wait a minute. What the heck? Oh. Oh, I must have already gotten the uh, the chest from in there. I'm not seeing it. Uh, I'm not seeing any more life fruits just yet. Unfortunately, the life fruit is not actually uh, automatically illuminated. Uh, hey. Dang, yeah, I'm gonna have to actually uh, farm the. Uh, uh, well, okay. Oh, get out of here. What I'm gonna have to do now is I'm going to have to uh, clear out a giant portion of the jungle. Uh, I'm gonna have to create a little farm uh, portion for farming the life fruit, as well as uh, trying to farm the uh, mysterious item. Now, obviously, you guys could all just simply uh, go and Google what the heck I'm talking about, but I mean, I don't know. Personally, I, I don't know. I would kind of feel a little offended if you guys did that, to be honest. Oh, get the frick up there. Can I not get up there? Um, let's see. Actually, now that I think of it, can't I, uh, do something good with, um, with the hallowed bars and the, uh, souls of might, blight, and sight? Those are all the souls we get from the mechanical bosses. Can we do anything special with them? I'm gonna have to check that out. Okay, so it doesn't look like we have anything, uh, good up here. So let's travel down here and check it out then. I love this merfolk thing. It's so cool. Okay. There we go. And the really weird thing is, uh, if you create an artificial jungle over at your base, uh, the game will actually count that as a real jungle, and it'll spawn life fruits in over there, too. It's a rare uh, chance of happening, but it actually can happen. It's really weird, yet kind of cool at the same time. Okay, I'm not seeing anything special at all nearby here, unfortunately. Ow. Jerk. Okay. Yeah, either we're gonna have to create uh, a couple farms, or we're gonna have to search a lot for this thing. 
Okay. Well, since we're here, might as well use this thing, right? There we go. So now, with all the life fruits, we can increase our health all the way up to, I believe, 600. If I'm not mistaken. There we go. And that is going to be really nice. I'm not seeing it anywhere here. I'm, I'm pretty sure it already spawned, did it not? Or do you have to meet some kind of spawning conditions? Or is it just like a timed thing? Huh. I'm not seeing it here. Uh, obviously, if we do end up finding it, we're not going to be uh, checking it out right away because, you know, we are not ready to fight another boss anytime soon. Especially since I don't have my potions, but uh, whatever. Okay. Uh, not seeing anything here yet. No. Yeah, everything's looking fairly empty. Life crystal nearby. I'm pretty sure the uh, the treasure is thing at the top there would let me know if either of the items I'm looking for are nearby. So I don't think I need to worry about that. Okay. So I think it is time that uh, we start looking into the uh, uh, into the uh, next tier items. I think we are able to do that now that we have the, uh, um, I can't even think of the word, now that we have the, uh, uh, the souls from all the, the bosses. Glorified detected, yeah, I don't really care about glorified right now. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to uh, make a giant farm off camera. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, I don't think it happens on the surface, right? Because if you fight this boss on the surface, then uh, you gonna die. not seeing it and it's starting to become uh, uh, beach and forest and all that over there so let's continue off this way then huh interesting yo what's up okay so I guess what I'm gonna do off camera uh, in between episodes is I'm gonna create an arena to fight this guy in uh, as well as uh, a giant farm basically the best way to make this farm is uh, just basically go and make giant lines uh, back and forth. Uh, similarly to what we did down here, but much thinner. That way, uh, like, each row has uh, a ton of grass growing on it and has a high chance of uh, spawning the, the life fruit as well as the item. So, yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do off camera. Um, I think, actually, let me check this out quick. Um... Da, 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 da. Sorry, you guys don't hear anything. Um, what is this guy? Okay. There is still one more uh, NPC that we need to get. Uh, let's see. Really? That's it? Huh. Okay. Okay. So there is another, um... Uh, there is another NPC... That we still need to get, that uh, that obviously we have not gotten yet, um, and I guess we do actually have access to grabbing the uh, NPC. We just have to let the uh, specific conditions be met, if that makes any sense. I'm trying to go uh, one more time over uh, the surface here a bit, just to see if uh, anything's here, but I don't think anything is. See where the frick I'm going. 
nothing here. Okay, yeah. So, unfortunately, I guess... I guess this is it. Huh. Interesting. Oh, hi there. Alrighty. Why do I feel so confident fighting these guys now? Normally, those guys kill me. Now, oh, whatever. Alrighty, so we are pretty much out of time for this episode. So, I am going to have to end it here. Off camera, like I said, I am going to um, try and create an arena and a farm for everything here in the jungle. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I need to do. I'll, I'll try and get um, the conditions met for the new NPC. Uh, I'll try and grind up more money so I can uh, increase our uh, our other repeater. Uh, our power glove here. I think that's about it. Yeah, um, I guess I'll also try and figure out uh, if we can make any better tools and uh, armor and stuff like that. But at this point, I think we're pretty much at the, the limit right now. So, yeah. Anyway... If you guys did enjoy this episode, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, and have a great day then, and goodbye.